October November 2023 Paper 4 Wherein 2 Question 1 Propanone reacts with iodine in the presence of acid catalyst so this is equations that involved and the rate equations that given is uh, this one uh, so rate equal to the care constant times concentration of propanol times concentration of hydrogen ion so from here we know that uh, the propanol is a first order because it's power one and this uh, hydrogen ion is also first order it's power one and the uh, iodine is actually uh, zero order because it's uh, power zero so iodine power zero so therefore we can uh, complete the table 1.1 so the the orders for this uh, propanone is first order and the uh, iodine is uh, zero order and the hydrogen ion is uh, first order and the uh, overall order is the sum of this so it's uh, second order part b an experiment is performed using a large excess of propanol and a large excess of hydrogen ion. The initial concentration for of the iodine is 1 times 10 to the 5 mole per dm cube. And the initial rate of decrease in the iodine concentration is 2.27 times 10 to the 7 mole per dm cube per second. Okay, part 1. Use the axis to draw the graph of uh, concentration of iodine against the time for the first 10 seconds um, before you try to do this one uh, you should at least know how it looks like because the iodine is uh, zero order zero order when a reactance is zero order when we plot the graphs the concentration of the reactant versus time so it's always a constant gradient if the reactant is zero order it will be a constant gradient because when the concentration means when it's delta y over delta x so when we want to get it so the the rate is actually uh, always a constant so when we want to get a gradient so that's why it's always a straight line okay so this is how the the zero orders uh, of the uh, the reactants looks like so now uh, because it's given the initial concentration is 1 times 10 power 35 so this the first plot is this one uh, we just need to get the last one then we can draw one line okay because it's a straight line um, then you need to do a very uh, uh, minor calculation uh, first you need to know uh, how much is reduced uh, I mean how much of the concentrations that being reduced so we need you need to calculate the concentration uh, that uh, reduced after 10 seconds so it, you just use the rate so 2.27 times 10 to the 7 times 10 seconds so you you will get this 2.27 times 10 to the 6 mole per dm cube this is the concentration that reduced after 10 seconds so you need to calculate uh, what is the concentration that remains at 10 seconds so you need to use the initial concentration minus the concentration that reduced and you get this one the concentration uh, at 10 seconds uh, it's better for you to uh, uh, convert to 10 power negative 5 so then you can see that clearly so now if let's say we uh, make it to uh, 0 0.773 times 10 power negative 5 so we can easily use this one okay and it's the uh, 0.77 is somewhere here so you just uh, you just uh, draw a line okay so you get uh, this uh, these graphs okay part two state uh, whether it is possible to calculate the numerical value of the k constant for this reaction because in this uh, part uh, it's already uh, told you that the propanone and this uh, H plus they are both in excess so we don't know the concentration when we when we don't know the concentration so we cannot use this one to calculate the K constant because the K constant can be calculated when we know the rate and concentration of these two 
Since this one is not known, so therefore uh, k constant still uh, cannot be calculated. Right? So this is answer. Part C. The experiment is repeated at different temperature, so therefore k constant now is different. And the initial concentration for all the reactants uh, uh, is uh, 0 0.2. So uh, you just substitute the concentrations that are given and uh, uh, the k constant that are given. So substitute into the rate equation. So you get uh, 9.24 times 10 point, uh, power of negative 7. For the part D, the experiment now is repeated using excess of the hydrogen ion means now the rate equation change. Uh, so the rate now is depends on the propanol's concentration. Uh, so from here we know that uh, it's a first order for the propanol. So whenever it's a first order reaction, so you can uh, calculate the half-life using this one. So half-life is equal to ln 2 over the k constant. Um, the ln 2 is a constant, k constant is another constant. So therefore, we know that uh, when the reactant is first order, is uh, half life is always a constant value, means almost the same value. So we use the ln two over the k constant that given one point one times ten to the three, so you get uh, six thirty second. So this is half life for this uh, reaction, means uh, the propanol. In order for the propanol to reduce half of its concentration, uh, you need to use six thirty second. And part two, use your answer to part one. Draw a graph of propanol against time uh, for this reaction. Uh, and the initial rate, initial values for the propanol concentration is uh, 0 0.2. And the final value is 0 0.025. So from here, uh, you should plot it at call. Uh, means it should be a curve like, because it's first order. Uh, when you, when you uh, plot the graph, concentration versus time, and this is a first order, reaction so is it should be a curve and the first thing that you need to do is to get the concentration from 0 0.2 reduce half means is to 0 0.1 and the time that needed is 630 uh, so the first half life is 630 second so you just plot here somewhere here 630 of course the scale you can uh, put it your own scale as long as uh, the the suitable one um, and the, the second half-life is based on this concentration, 0 0.1 now reduced to 0 0.05. So this one need to use another half-life, means uh, it's uh, around 1, 2, 6, 0. So you just put another plot here. Okay, after that, uh, the, from 0 0.05 to 0 0.025, so this is also half of the concentration. So the, another half-life is needed. So it's, uh, and it will be until 1890. So you just plot here. So means the first half-life is 630. So second half-life also 630. And the third half-life also 630. All right. So once you plot it, then you just draw a curve. Okay, that's all. For the part E, four uh, step mechanism is suggested and this is the overall equation, means uh, after these uh, four steps, when you sum up all the reactants and products, you should get this. The rate equations uh, is same as the just now the, the, the first part that is given. So rate equal to K constants times the concentration of propanol times the concentration of the this uh, hydrogen ion. And um, in order to do uh, this part means to deduce the step three. So you need to uh, you need to know uh, the intermediates and the reactants the relation. So you need to understand the reactant in step three is actually from the products uh, in the step two. So you need to bring the intermediates the products. Uh, okay, this is the intermediate. The products in step two to the step three. Use this one as the reactant, bring it here, and therefore later you can cancel out this intermediate. And second thing that you need to consider is uh, how to form the balance equation 
uh, at is mentioned here. Because here there is an iodine, and in step one, two, three, or sorry, one, two, four, no iodine there. So here you need to put uh, iodine. Then for the step three on the product side, you can actually use the reactant in step four. You bring the reactant in step four back to this step three because this one is the one that used in the step four, the reactant. So bring this one back to this uh, the step three on the product side. So therefore later when you sum up step one, two, three, four, you can cancel out this one, this intermediate. And another things that you need to consider is the iodide. In step one, two, four, no iodide is there. So here you need to put iodide. So this is how you get the equation in the step three. Now part two, suggest the slower step of the mechanism, explain your answer. Uh, so step one is the slower step. Why? Because in this uh, rate equation, this one is first order, this one is first order. In the step one on the reactant side, the propanol and H plus, they both appear as one mole. So means this is a very suitable step to make it as lower step because they both appear once. Right, so that's why uh, we choose step one huh? uh, as propanol and H plus, both one mole in the equation. For part three, identify one conjugate acid base pair in the mechanism. Conjugate acid base pair you uh, already learned in AS, so you should know uh, their relation. Uh, we can actually use step two and step four. So choose one. In step two, we know that these species will release proton. So we know that this one is acid and it will form its conjugate base. Its conjugate base is one proton difference with it. So therefore, these two they are conjugate acid base pair. In step four, also you can use the, the this pair because this one after it reacts, so it will release proton. So this one is acid and it will, it will form its conjugate base. Okay. Also they have one proton different. So therefore you can, you can put this pair or this pair. Okay. I hope you understand. Thank you.